Hi there. Welcome to today's math lesson. Today we'll continue our study of coordinate graphing. Today we're going to use a rule to complete a table and a graph. So to begin with, let's just remind ourselves how a coordinate graph works. <clears throat> a coordinate graph has a couple different parts. One part is the x-axis. That's these lines here. <clears throat> and if we put a point on the x-axis, that coordinate tells us the horizontal position, or how far left or right it is. It can go in either direction. Another part of a coordinate graph is the y-axis right here. See that letter y up there? That's the y-axis. And the y-axis tells us how far up or down a point is. It tells us the vertical position of a point. Is a point up here, or is it down here? Or is it way down here? Those are the x and y axis. And we always write them in that order. We always write our axis, x first, and then y. Why is it in that order? Because x comes first in the alphabet, x, y, z. These two coordinates together are what we call an ordered pair. Not a pair like a fruit. This is a pair like a pair of socks. It means there's two of them, an ordered pair. <clears throat> so that's uh, just a little refresher about how a coordinate graph works. When we put an ordered pair on uh, the graph, um, that tells us the location of a point. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to fill out this table here. And we're going to use a rule to fill it out. So the rule is up here. The rule is add 6 to the input. So let's take a look at one of the inputs. Here's an input. The input is 1. So the rule here is to add 6. What is 1 plus 6? That's right, it is 7. <clears throat> All right, what is 2 plus 6? That would be 8. 3 plus 6, 9. 4 plus 6, 10. All right, those are our points. Our table is done. Remember, this is called a table here. This is a table, not like a table you sit and eat food at. It's a table, uh, it's a way of holding information, numbers. <clears throat> so now we need to graph the input-output pairs. That's these guys up here. We need to graph these points uh, onto, our, uh, onto our coordinate graph below. Let's give that a try. So, the input is going to be our first coordinate. The input tells us our um, x-axis. Okay, so the input is 1. So I'm going to go over to 1 on the x-axis. I'm going to start at 0, which is way over here, and I'm going to go over to 1. That's my first uh, move. Okay, now I'm going to look, I'm just going to put a little highlighter there just to remember where I'm at. Now I'm going to uh, find 7 on the y-axis. So I'm going to start at 1 here, I'm going to go up 7, because the y tells us the vertical location, up and down. I'm going to count up 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You'll notice the number on the side there uh, helps me find my location on the coordinate graph. Okay, I went up 7. There is my point, right there. So that coordinate uh, would be 1, 7. A 1 on the x-axis, a 7 on the y-axis. OK, my next coordinate <clears throat> is 2 on the x-axis. So I'm going to count over 2. That's 2 on the x-axis, and then an 8 on the y-axis. So I'm going to count over 2 and up 8. 1, 2, over 2, and up 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Right there. I'm going to put my point. All right, moving on to the next point. 3, 9. Over 3, up 9. Over 3, up 9. There we go. I'm starting to see a pattern. Can you estimate where my next point will be? All right, my next ordered pair is 4, 10. Over 4, up 10. Over 4, up 10. Is that where you guessed? 
All right, that is how we complete a table from a rule and graph it on a coordinate graph.